Hi. I wanted to make another video this week. You have gotten quite a few videos. You'll probably get another one depending on what mood I am in. But I wanted to continue off of my last videos when I talked about Black Lives Matter and how Black women a lot of times are excluded from the movement. And this isn't new. This has been happening since the Civil Rights Movement. This has actually been happening way before the 1960s. Ever since we came here to America, Black women have been treated like shit. This isn't something that just happened as soon as we were put in chains. Everyone thinks slavery started this whole thing and that's why Black men treat Black women like shit. But this isn't something that just all of a sudden happened. This isn't something where Black men just decided, well, Black women ain't Shit. black women are subpar to us misogyny towards black women or african women has been happening since the dawn of day and with racism white supremacy that fueled it it did and i'm not saying in every community before european settlers was misogynistic and hated women like i know the history of matriarchy and all of that but to act as if Black male supremacy was just something that happened as soon as the white men came over. That's just not true. But let's talk about the civil rights movement for a minute and why it's important. The reason why I am just so fed up with the Black Lives Matter movement is because something similar to what is happening today happened back in 1960s. Even though black men have been lynched by white women or been lynched due to white women and white women lying on them, so many black men would have black women guard the doors during the whole civil rights Black Panther movement while they would lounge up with white women, the oppressors, women who would probably get them lynched if they had a choice. But because they were pretty docile, delicate women, they couldn't be a real threat while simultaneously saying they hated the white man. But white women are, I guess, excluded from being an oppressor because they are just so pretty. Like... Like that's the logic. That is a lot of people's logic where if you are a woman, it doesn't matter how violent you are, how oppressive you are to another woman. If you're pretty, if if you have like just a pretty face and you're delicate, white or light skin, men will not see you as a threat, especially if you are not harming other men. If you are just harming black women, oh, that's cool. They don't mind it because it's sexy to them. It turns them on. That's why you have so many black men defending non-black Latinas who are anti-black, defending Rachel Dolezal, defending so many anti-black women of color, anti-black white women. But as long as they harm black women in particular, because notice Stacey Dash, as light-skinned as she is, at the end of the day, she attacks every black person. She just she just doesn't attack black women. If she had just made respectability politics against black women and said that black women needed to dress more conservatively so they wouldn't get raped or disrespected by black men, no one would care. But because Stacey Dash attacks everyone, then she's the enemy of the black community. She's a bed wench. So it's not that I am defending Stacey Stacey Dash it's just the fact that most of y'all just don't like her because she's a black woman and now she ruins your gaze of being this attractive light-skinned woman because now she's sleeping with a white man and now she's a traitor and now she attacks black men most black men are only upset that black women that are attractive to them want nothing to do with them that now they can't fuck them now they can't sleep with them they can't date them they can't control them they don't like it they, they want black women to be afrocentric with the mind of a white woman and so many people feel that in order to be respected as a black woman you need to be treated like a white woman and i see so many black women who let me know that while you may look afrocentric you may have the look you're anti-black and that's why so many people feel like being a natural queen doesn't make you woke so many women who are all about being a natural lisa all about melanin beauty all of this are very misogynistic very anti-black they are fakes you can wear the dashikis, you can wear the afro puffs, you can say all the lingo, but if you don't care about all black people, especially black women and or black people, a part of the LGBTQIA and disabled bodies and mentally ill bodies, you fucking bitch that said I was a lunatic, then you're not woke. Like I said on TV, you see so many black men wearing the dashikis throwing up their fists, but they are quickly called a fake, a sellout. And I see that in so many black women as well, where you have the Afro, you are 
wearing the dashikis. You are saying black women are beautiful, but then deep down, you don't care about black women. You're a fake. But like I said, with the civil rights movement, black men have always worshipped white women and left black women in the dust and acted as if we are so privileged. And so many of them want to bring up the fact that we are the most educated in America. Well, that seems like jealousy. It seems like you are jealous of the fact that a group of women who are marginalized worked hard enough to be the most educated in spite of being told that they were nobody. And this has happened to so many marginalized groups, not just black women, not just black people as a whole, but it's happened with Jewish people. It has happened with Japanese people. It has happened with South Asian people. So many marginalized people who worked hard to have status in a certain field and people think, well, that's privileged. Well, Jewish people are directors and they run Hollywood, so they are privileged, not knowing that they worked hard for that. Or, well, East Asian people have their own businesses, so that means they are privileges. Or East Asian people make good grades and they are very successful in school or the corporate world. Well, they work for it because of marginalization. Or Latinx work very hard and they have like extra jobs, which isn't really a privilege to have you know, so many jobs and you're still not making enough money, but that's because of marginalization. A lot of POC, a lot of ethnic groups work hard in America, so they won't be marginalized. You know, that's like affirmative action, how you give people an extra boost so they won't be at the bottom because straight Christian white men are at the top. And that's why black women are the most educated, not because we are privileged and more better than black men or better than black men, but because of the fact that we worked hard. We had to work extra hard because we couldn't get by with just our looks. We had to be doctors. We had to be teachers. We had to be women working in banks. And that's the thing. Even light-skinned women. I know light-skinned women who work in banks. And you know what? Although privilege may have something to do with it, as black women, they had to work extra hard because, like I said, they couldn't just get by with looks in the regular world. They couldn't. So for those trying to use that as an example of how black women should be matriarchies and they run the black community, that is not true. You take one positive aspect of a marginalized group and make excuses as to why you oppress them because they are so privileged. Like, oh, well, they are rich. This community of marginalized people are rich. So we can't be that much of an oppressor if they can oppress us. Successful black women cannot oppress black men. Black women who are successful have to work hard because no one else wants to do it for them. But so many people have been telling me, well, black men are the most likely to be killed and beaten and blah, blah, blah. And all of this. Well, that may be true. But at the end of the day, being a woman, that means that we are more prone to not just violence, but sexualized violence. The reason why women are attacked is because they are seen as delicate and weaker. So they are easy targets, sitting ducks. And people will tell me, well, that's not necessarily true. Maybe for black women, because black women aren't seen as women. They aren't seen as delicate or weak. They aren't seen as someone that they can take advantage of when it's convenient. Maybe for white women or even non-black Latinas, but maybe not for black women in your minds. But I'm sick of black men in particular saying that when people say black lives matter, they mean all black lives. And... Just because they don't mention black women doesn't mean that I am included. But it's funny how you can specify black men matter. But then when I bring up that black women and other genders need to be included, you don't say anything. You say, well, I included y'all when I said lives. So how come you can be specific about black men when black men aren't the ones facing sexualized violence on top of racialized violence? Why is that? Why are you only mentioning cishet black men when they aren't facing homophobia or transphobia. Why are you only bringing up able-bodied black men when they aren't the ones facing ableism? Why is that? So like I said in my last video, if you are a cishet, able-bodied, grown black man, I am not going to protect you. Half the time you guys are abusive anyway. You harass black women. You kill black women because they reject you. So you guys should have been in jail a long time ago for your behavior. But because interracially when a person does a crime against a black person, they are least likely to go to jail. Oh, did you know that? Did you not know that that when you commit a crime against a black person, you may not go to jail. You are least likely to go to jail. So therefore, black men who commit a crime against black women 
are least likely to go to jail. Black men who commit a crime against black men are least likely to go to jail. You did not know that, did you? Did you know that? It's not just white people who commit a crime. It's whoever commits a crime against a black or brown person, they are less likely to go to jail versus if they commit a crime against a white person. And that benefits a lot of black men when they commit crimes against black women or queer people. And then I got an Anon message on my Tumblr asking me, oh, do you think black men shouldn't be protected by the police if they disrespect black women or if they don't support black women? I said, yeah, I did because it's harsh, but it's the truth. I'm not going to support anyone who doesn't support me. I'm not going to look out for someone who lets it be known that I'm not good enough to be with them. I'm not good enough to be by their side. I'm not good enough to be in their fashion show. I'm not good enough to be in their music videos. I'm not good enough to work with them. Okay? I'm sorry. And I'm not saying you can ignore your friends, family, loved ones, sons, or children. I'm not saying any of that. I am saying I am not going to protect a bunch of strangers who will more than likely ignore me or say I deserved it if I were to get killed. No one is looking at me as this sweet, docile woman. They're looking at me as this black woman, this brute, this threat. But no, you guys want to place these delicate feminine tropes onto me and other women when it's convenient, when it's to erase us. Because one minute, we are too manly. We don't act like girls. We don't act like women. I've literally seen black men put that on their Twitter that the reason why black men go for white women is because black women don't act like women or black girls don't act like girls. But then when it comes to police brutality, well, black girls and women are delicate and innocent and they aren't seen as a threat to white men. That's a lie. And I put on my Facebook, I put on my Facebook, men aren't the only ones getting killed in the community. And I got a few likes, finally. Like, I don't understand how hard it is to say that we need to talk about black women, people are part of LGBTQIA, disabled people in the black community. Why are we just talking about black men? You know what that tells me? Black men are more valuable than everyone else. Black men are more valuable than black women in particular. Black men are so important because they are the providers of the community. It's the fact that if we lose a black man, we are losing a provider, that they are the most important and nobody else matters. That's what I am being told and I hate that. I am hate to be told I have to love someone unconditionally, someone that looks like me while I see how they treat me and other people that look like me. I hate that. I really do. I hate supporting someone that wants to turn around and worship racist ass, fetishistic white women who say that you need to stop killing our chocolate brothers because we don't want to lose our dicks, our cishet black male dick our chocolate dicks. And that's what they literally say. You have black men supporting that and saying, I love my snow buddies. Well, you know what? You can be with them. You can have them. Black women shouldn't be protecting you. They shouldn't be supporting you. But like I said in my last video, black women are shit. They are the shit. And people know that, but they want to tell us that we are not because it makes them feel better about themselves and it keeps control. They know that we are the shit. They know that we basically created everything. I'm not going to sit here and say that we created civilization because that argument is kind of just sexist. But we essentially did create a lot of things. Most things, actually. You know, we have matriarchies and all of that. And people know that. So that's why black men can sit there and sleep with all the white women and all the non-black women and say how much better they are. But then at the end of the day, say that they need black women because they know they can't live without us no matter how much they pretend that they can. That they can. Can't. Can't. Like canned item. <laughs> that they can. And I'm not going to be there for their convenience. I will not. You know, I can talk about things that matter to the black community as a whole but i'm not just going to pander to black men i will not and i try not to be so harsh i say things that i really shouldn't say but when people make me mad when people frustrate me and when people are being particularly abusive you know i can say what i want or i can say what is within my limit you know i'm not going to say anything to someone that wouldn't be said to me. I'm not going to call anyone a slur that i wouldn't get called i'm not going to say something that i don't that I am not affected by you know I'm not going to call someone a slur that affects their marginalization but it doesn't affect mine I'm not going to say anything like 
homophobic towards gay men. I'm not going to say anything transmisogynic transmisogynistic towards trans women. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to say something that I wouldn't get called. You know, I don't think men get to decide whether a woman is a cunt or not. With the whole Ann Coulter situation, I hate it when all these men were calling her a cunt and they allowed that to happen. That'd be like allowing a white person to call a black person a coon. You don't get to decide whether someone is a coon, cunt, bitch or not because you are not part of their marginalization. I can call someone a coon because they are acting anti-black. I can call someone a cunt because they are being abusive and they are being oppressive towards me, another woman. I can say that, but when someone is not in my marginalization or not in my oppression is saying those words, that's the problem. But I try to refrain from my speech and what I say because it is harsh, but I just get so frustrated and angry and I shouldn't have to talk calmly to get the point that I want to be treated like a human being. I was talking to someone in my messages, which I am about to disable the messaging because I am sick of people wanting to cuss me out in the messages, but don't want to come into my anons. They know they aren't going to be dragged to Hades by being in my anons and I am retweeting them or reblogging, sharing or whatever you want to call it. I, I get all of these terminologies confused, but he said, you know, you saying all of this about not protecting black men because they won't date you or because they aren't attracted to you. I said, yes, I shouldn't protect people who make it known that they aren't attracted to me. Then he asked me, well, what are you talking about? Are someone sh shouting out that they don't find you attractive in the streets? I say, I am talking about online. And then we were talking and finally I said, you know, this conversation is over. Um, I'm not going to be treated with disrespect. You know, I do get attention, but I'm not going to face any abuse from it or anything like that so then when I said this conversation was over that was when the nigger got aggressive I'm sorry you know that was when the like <laughs> he did he started saying some really niggerish shit about how you need to work on your attitude and your appearance as if that's why I am mistreated so he wasn't even trying to help or trying to understand why I said what I said he had it in mind to hate on a black woman he had it on he had it in his mind to be anti-black he hates black women he knew it so I don't even understand and this was someone with a porn blog and then he just said all these terrible things you know so I said terrible things to him too you know you want to sit there and say that I need to work on my attitude and appearance as if that is the main reason why I am being mistreated and told to die wow really you are so wow I'm just sick of it all these people acting niggerish and you know like using our oppression against us saying that we're most likely to be raped and that we spread our legs because we want to be loved and we want to be protected as if that's a bad thing knowing that we're really a lot of us are really delicate creatures or something like that that just want to be loved and you know that but you hate us so you don't care you know that deep down we just want to be loved and protected and we will probably not be so bitter and angry if you would just give it to us but you want won't so people like you should probably just go away because I don't need people like you I, I don't think that there's any hope for you um I just wish that you would see how wrong and disgusting you are and if not you can just die too I'm, I'm just so fed up with being told that my life doesn't matter but then I'm supposed to be with black men who say all the time that white women are better than me that I'm not as pretty as non-black women making me feel ugly not just black men but white men white women everyone else in the world I'm not standing up for them I'm sorry